so yeah guys so yeah insurance has skyrocketed guys you know i said i was paying 185 dollars per car for a brand new vehicle full coverage and it's went up this year to 245 a vehicle full coverage um and i called the insurance company and they told me that it was essentially inflation so i have another scenario for you guys or another example i guess you'd say so i ended up you know i have some rental properties guys right and so my home insurance so my average my average home insurance annual annual premium uh was around 1350 to 1400 dollars a house i was paying last year okay well this year my annual premium went up from around 1350 to 1400 dollars you know average to 1850 to 2000 dollars a house so my premium has went up on average 1350 all the way up to 1850 and this is for home insurance guys on each each rental property that i own that's what's happened and you know i don't know any excuse or reason why uh other than that's just inflation guys i mean that's all there is to it it's inflation you know and uh a lot of people are going to say that inflation is going down but I don't see anyone making a phone call to their to their insurance company for auto or for home insurance and requesting a uh, a reduction unless you're starting to remove st things from your policy. That's the only way you're going to maintain your maintain your 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 pricing, which again, pricing is going up across the board. So I don't care what what it what you know not, not to be political or anything like that, guys, but. Um, it doesn't really matter, you know? It doesn't matter, really matter what side of the aisle you're on. Um, you know, prices have gone up across the board and everything. And then don't get, don't get me started on in uh, actual like vehicle pricing because vehicles have skyrocketed as well, guys. Vehicles have skyrocketed over the last two years. You used to be able to buy a truck fully loaded for around 55 to 65, right? Those same trucks now that are fully loaded or seventy-five to ninety thousand dollars, guys. So, anyone telling you guys that inflation is not a real thing, and then things aren't way higher than what they were, they're living in they're living in a bubble, guys. Inflation has been around and has been skyrocketing over the last two years. And if you've been living in Narnia, or you've been living in a box or a bubble, maybe you wouldn't notice it. But for the average person, or if you run a business, if you run a business or you live in the real world, you'll know and you'll notice that costs to operate, the costs to run your business have all went up. Labor, material, soft costs like insurance, you know, all these things have gone up, guys. So appraisal reports have gone up on properties. You know, so inspection fees have gone up. So it's, uh, yeah, guys, I don't know. I don't know. I know how people are surviving. I don't know how people are going to survive in this, in these times. Um, lately I've been thinking a lot and, you know, I saw an article. They said that if you make, if you make, over 200 grand a year as a family of four in the United States, that is the best way to live a middle-class, comfortable lifestyle in America in 2024. Did you hear what I said, guys? If you make $200,000 a year or more, that is what it takes nowadays to live a comfortable middle-class middle -class lifestyle, guys. It's wild. It's wild.